In this session, let us try to understand the role played by the secondary name node in managing the file system metadata. We all know that each and every transaction that occurs on the file system is recorded within the edit log file. At some point of time, this file becomes very large. At this point of time, if the name node fails due to corrupted metadata or any other reason, then it has to retrieve the FS image from the disk and apply all the transactions to it present within the edit log file. In order to apply all these transactions, the system resources should be available. It also takes lot of time to apply all these transactions. Until all these transactions are not applied, the contents of the FS image are inconsistent. Hence the cluster cannot be operational. Now let us see how the secondary name node can be used to prevent this situation from occurring. In order to prevent this from happening, the secondary name node instructs the name node to record the transactions to a new edit log file. Now the secondary name node copies the FS image and the edit log file to its checkpoint directory. Once these files are copied, the secondary name node loads the FS image and applies all the transactions from the edit log file and stores this information onto a new and compacted FS image file. The secondary name node transfers this compacted FS image file to the name node. The name node adopts this new FS image file and also renames the new edit log file that was created back to edit log file. This process occurs every hour or whenever the size of the edit log file reaches to 64 megabytes. I hope you all might have understood the role played by the secondary name node in managing the file system metadata.